And this is what I call the NCXT virus. Please do not buy from NCXT at this price point. Today, I'm going to be taking one of you guys gaming PC build list and I'm going to fix it. That way you get the best price to performance system for your budget and your needs. The link to the boosted build will be down below in the video description alongside the instructions in case you want to get featured in the next video in case you need help with your system. This is a video idea from Jason from the PC Builders YouTube channel so big shout out to him. With that being said, let's start. So we have Darshil over here, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, otherwise just let me know. And he says, hey brother, this is my PC parts list, it doesn't include the monitor and keyboard and mouse. I want to be a competitive gamer, content creator and do some 3D rendering and 2D animation. My resolution will be 1080p and my favorite games are Valorant and CS2. My budget is around 1200 to 1500 dollars. I have something to say but first let's see what you got. Okay, so I see some major mistakes in this field and this is what I call the NCXT virus. Please do not buy from NCXT at this price point. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on the company. I love NCXT. In fact, my PC case from my personal PC is actually from NCXT. It's the H7 Flow. I love it. But the thing is, we don't have the budget here to do that, especially since you want to do 3D rendering and video editing, which requires a more powerful and more expensive system. If you said only 1080p Valorant and CS2, then maybe you can get away with an NCXT aesthetic since it's usually more expensive, but I just wouldn't recommend it at this price point for your needs. What I have to say first is that we've been talking for a little bit with this subscriber and then he told me he wanted to go for a 1440p monitor, so that changes my recommendations quite a bit because if he wanted just 1080p, it would be less high demanding, cheaper and overall easier for the budget. But 1440p is not as easy, however, it is completely doable if your budget is between $1,200 and $1,500. Now, the reason why this system is not good for the price is mainly because of the NCXT aesthetic. Since you spent so much in the aesthetic, you ended up going with the RTX 4060 Ti, which I do not like, especially the 8GB version, since you want to do video editing, 3 the rendering and I just wouldn't recommend you 8 gigs of VRAM overall for 1440p resolution even for just gaming. However, if you were doing just gaming and Valorant and CS2 are the only games that you play, then 8 gigs of VRAM is fine. But honestly, since you do all of the extra stuff, I just wouldn't recommend it. Then another mistake is the power supply. You are spending $90 on a 750 watt power supply that's C tier rated. C tier rated are usually better for lower end computers. This is not supposed to be a low end computer. You are supposed to be getting a V tier or at least A tier rated computer. So I would recommend you going with an A tier power supply, which is going for around the same price. So I don't understand why you picked this one in particular. And then you picked a one terabyte Gen 4 SSD, which is super expensive for just being one terabyte. So I would either save a bit of money and go with Gen 3 SSD or go with two terabytes instead for just a little bit more. Then the CPU, I don't hate it. You went with the Ryzen 5 7600X. It's going to be enough for your specific needs and budget, but I feel like we could go with a Ryzen 7 instead at this price point and get better performance when it comes to content creation and productivity work and all that type of stuff. When it comes to gaming, there's not really a big difference between a Ryzen 7 7700, for example, and this one. But when it comes to those 3D rendering applications, it is a different story. And then the motherboard. I don't hate this motherboard. I actually used it for this build because it was a budget Fortnite build. But at this price point, I think that we can do better and I can give you a better motherboard that will allow you to upgrade up to faster CPUs than this motherboard right here. Overall, I wouldn't recommend you putting this PC together for the price of $1,253. I would recommend you spending a little bit more since you have a $1,500 max budget and get a much faster performance. And this is what I'm going to do for you. So this is the upgraded boosted build that's going to be much, much, much better for 1440p resolution, both gaming, content creation, and whatever you want to do with your system. And the reason why it's so much better is because I didn't spend as much on the NCXT aesthetic. I still got a really nice case in the Montec Air 100 ARGB, which is the one that you are seeing right here. It's amazing. It comes with four principal fans, great airflow, and the price is 
much better considering that I didn't add those extra funds that you did which were $70 very expensive and with that money I've gotten a much better CPU and GPU combo which those components are the two most important ones when it comes to your performance for everything basically and I went with the Ryzen 7 7700X which has more cores and as I said before it's going to be much better when it comes to content creation and 3D rendering and then I went with the RTX 4070 Super which is a 1440p graphics card that's going to allow you to play any game at 1440p high to ultra settings with no issues and you get more vram you get 12 gigs of vram which is nice for the type of workloads that you want to do then i went with an astro motherboard that will allow you to upgrade up to a ryzen 7 7800x 3d if you want to upgrade the cpu down the line which is the fastest cpu in the market or you can upgrade up to a ryzen 9 if you really wanted to and then i went with two terabytes of gen 3 ssd instead of a one terabyte drive so you have plenty of storage to download whatever you want if you want to save some money because two terabyte ssds are quite expensive you can go with one terabyte and save around 40 to 50 dollars in case you want to save that money and then i went with an a tier rated power supply 750 watts as well from msi and this one is 80 dollars so it's even cheaper than the one that you were going with and it is much better when it comes to quality and you make sure that you get the right power supply for the right type of system when it comes to your gaming performance, I want you to look at this test right here from TechSpot. This is a test in very high demanding games at 1440p and I'm talking about games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Howard's Legacy. So these are not the type of games that you will be playing but anyway it's nice to have a system that's capable of playing these games in case you start playing them in the future. But for you to have an idea the 4060 Ti that you were going with was able to average around 70 fps even slightly slower because this one is the 16 GB version and you were going with the 8 GB version so you can expect around 67 fps on average and the 40 70 super 108 fps that's a 30 something plus fps on average difference so insane difference when it comes to your gaming performance and when it comes to cs2 and valorant of course since you get a better cpu and gpu combo you will be achieving higher fps with the other one you can expect around 200 plus fps on average in valorant or cs2 240 plus fps as well but with this one you can expect around 360 plus fps on average in those type of games in competitive settings at 1440p so amazing system in my opinion much better than the one that you were going with i hope that you feel like this build is better for the price for you because i genuinely believe that this one is a much better option and i have another pc for you in case you want to spend even more money now you said you wanted to save as much money as you can so this might not be the right recommendation for you but it is something to consider and that is the graphics card upgrade you could go with the rtx 4070 ti super which has more VRAM and it's better when it comes to gaming performance even though that really doesn't matter for your type of games but if you want a better graphics card for 3d rendering to the animation and all of that the 4070 Ti Super is actually a great option because of that VRAM difference however if you end up going with that one the total price for the system is going to be $1600 which is $100 over your max budget so of course if you do not want to go over $1,500, don't worry about it. Just go with the one that I recommended first, which is going to be ideal. But please do not go with the one that you were going with unless you want to prioritize aesthetics, which you didn't tell me. But anyway, even then, you are spending a lot of money in aesthetics. And if you want to go with the NCXD aesthetic and get the same performance that I've gotten for you here, you will be spending around $1,500 to $1,600 so not ideal if you are going to be getting the same level of performance and you want to save up some money remember that if you want to get featured in the next one the instructions are down below as well with the system that i recommended today and if you found valuable information throughout this video leave a like and subscribe if you need personal pc help and you want me to help you out one-on-one -on -one, not in a video because i get a lot of requests but you still want me to help you out you will have a link to my personal pc help that's going to be the top link down below. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.